This video is presented by EA Create Network. Thank you to EA for providing me a copy of the pack to review. Sly! Bro, when was this? Hello, hens. How are we all diddly do and how's everybody holding up? This is going to be a review of The Sims 4 High School Years. I do not make any money from the sales of this pack. This is not a paid review. All thoughts of my own. And this is not the final software as well. So things that you see may potentially be subject to change. Are we ready to relive some of the most traumatizing years of our life? Because I am not. <laughs> The idea of high school years actually seems really, really cool to me. I was intrigued by the entire being of this pack, the entire usty, the high school lusty. No, those two words don't belong together. Anyway, because we've had active universities kind of since The Sims 2. So we've had that type of education. But actually going to a secondary school and being active in the class is a brand new concept that The Sims team are introducing with this pack. But it is an entire expansion pack for something that kind of already exists within the game. At first, I was hesitant as to whether or not it would feel like an actual expansion pack or just a game pack let's head into create the same i do just want to point out that this pack actually has a collab with depop which i will talk about in more depth later but there are some pieces to do with that some are like some are don't i think it's definitely a cool collaboration like i think it'll definitely hit with the audience a lot more than a uh, mosquito collab that we do not talk actually she she turned out pretty good i'm still not going to buy a mosquito though but yeah i think depop is actually relevant to teenage life so i'm glad that they went down that line for a collaboration as for the rest of the clothes some of these are hands down the best pieces i've ever seen in my life actually so made me look at them and think oh, the sims you've been hiding these skills bestie you can definitely tell that they watched euphoria in preparation for this because they fucking nailed it like this this stuff is actually genuinely genuinely so cute and i would like to wear it myself i would like i want to be a sim and they also definitely understood the assignment that is layering when it comes to 2020s fashion and there's a varied amount of styles too goth preppy so there's definitely something for everyone but then others some of the men's pieces specifically i'm calling out here it's giving my menswear kit a little bit you know what i mean this is a subjective view though so if this shit is your type gg it's for your bestie you have won the create sim lottery but there's just a lot of tits tits out for the lads but overall the clothing aspect of it is is strong we have some new hairs that are definitely necessary hairs that i think that we should have had a lot sooner and there's some very trendy hairs but i do feel like there was a limit on the amount of hairs which surprised me because hair and uh, accessorizing with your hair and having all these little different hairstyles is very high school years right now like that's the epitome i can spot a gen z by the color of the hair clips do you know what i mean that's not a diss by the way we've got some nice shoes as well the accessories are cute but again kind of limiting in that aspect even though they are cute and i do like them the makeup is also very on trend it is makeup like the the eyeshadow that i wish i was talented enough to do really nice the themes strong a little bit of is it disparities is that the word i'm looking for in how many of them that we got and uniforms also i'm included in this pack which i genuinely did not see happening one thing i didn't expect is that the uniforms will come in like a lot of different swatches and styles there's different ways that you can wear a uniform as a british person who had to wear a uniform for the entire education system I was absolutely blown away by this because, you know, uniforms are a big thing. One little thing, one little issue that I had is I had two sims and I set them in the school uniform. There's no actual category for school uniform. So when they turned up into school, they'd get changed into a different type of school uniform that I didn't even set. So I think that it could have done better here to have a new clothing option, potentially like a school uniform and be able to tick whether they want to wear it or not. Or even similar to how Dine Out works, where you can set a uniform for your workers, being able to actually go into the school and set a uniform for the school. And body hair is also with this pack and i do like what they've done with body hair again we've had it in previous games but i like how the sims 4s took it and built upon it because not only do we have body hair but it also can grow by itself and you have to maintain your body hair if you want to or you can just leave it out and you can compliment other sims on it as well and you can even turn it off if it gets annoying which thank you to the sims team i think that's a really nice touch just having the choice to just do what you want with it and another thing that i liked as well is it also applies randomly to both male and female frames so if you're just making a random sim they might come with body hair and you can also customize the color of it obviously unfortunately though a little pet peeve that i have is that teenagers don't actually look any different in create sim i don't know if i was even expecting them to honestly like i think this might have been a bit too much to expect of an expansion pack but it is something that i do deeply want in the game and i do think that this would have been the perfect 
way to introduce different heights because teens just kind of look exactly the same as adults and all of the clothes can be worn by adults as well so there's not that much of a distinction it's only in the limit of how many traits you can have that really makes a teenager feel different speaking of let's move on to actual gameplay impact and stuff like traits and aspirations so thankfully we have three new traits which is a nice amount for an expansion pack my nice amount for an expansion pack five at the very least I just really like how the Sims 3 traits work. Big stan of the Sims 3 traits. We've got Overachiever, Party Animal, and Socially Awkward. And they are pretty good traits. Like, these do replicate your teenage years, you know what I mean? And these also impact your wants and fears, which, yes, are a returning aspect to The Sims 4 now. I'm mentioning these with traits because the return of wants and fears do actually impact your Sims personality as well. And when they get a fear come up, they'll get a temporary trait from that based on what the want or fear is. However, I will say the fears did seem repetitive for me. Like a lot of my Sims just had the same fear at the same time. And uh, it's not really that groundbreaking. Like I kind of miss in The Sims 2 where your want was to cheat on your wife, but your fear was also to cheat on your wife. Like I just miss that juxtaposition. A lot of the stuff in The Sims 3, especially if you're going through a midlife crisis and shit like that, it was like, I want to burn this fucking house down. So I kind of miss the how far The Sims wants and fears went. If you complete enough of your fears i don't think it has an impact on your sim in the same way that if you you know completed so many fears in the sims 2 there would come down a flying doctor who would medically intervene i don't think that's a return I don't think he's returning for now which is both a good thing and a bad thing for my rational socially conscious mind good thing for my mentally unhinged loves the chaos i do miss him <laughs> that's because i potentially need him though babe you know what i mean now, for the aspiration as well, this aspiration is only available for teenagers, so it's pretty similar to how the kids' aspiration is set up, which I like. I feel like asking teenagers to decide what they want to do for the rest of their lives is like a monumental task that can't just be decided like that. And I think that's the worst thing that you could actually do to teenagers is to ask them to just decide their entire life right now. So I don't know why it's so normalised in real life. I live really wanting to be a priest at this age. They don't even accept women in that role. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I just wish I had a bit more depth. And it does upset me that I will be saying that quite a lot in this review, babe. Buckle up, seatbelts on and everything, because danger. It doesn't take a holiday, babe. then once you're at Create Sim, you will need a place to live. Could even potentially be the new world, Copperdale, which has 11 lots and three new lot types, kind of. I'm in Spain without the S, babe, and you will be joining me there soon. The world in itself, though, is very cool. You know how much I fuck with the post-industrial vibe. And as much as I aesthetically like the area, though, I am ready for a change because I feel like we've been getting a lot of, this was once a thriving industrial town. Excited for a change from post-industrial town surrounded by woods. <laughs> but that's not to say the world is bad. The world is actually really, really nice. It's a decent size by The Sims 4 standards. And the game changes that built it done a really good job at this. I like to see the way that the house was built up. It gave me inspiration of how I could build my houses in the future. Even with the limitations that they'll, you know, have to do by only including so many objects. J fucking J. There's also one of the selling points of the pack, I think. There's a carnival style part to it. You can ride the love ride, go to the haunted house and the carousel. And there's also a little shop where you can buy ice cream from. So I'm really liking that The Sims team are taking note and making the world around you more interactable because that's really what keeps me there in a world i like spicing up a closed world apart from the carousel the carousel my sworn enemy i fucking hate that carousel the main reason why i hate the carousel is because you can't see through it and i feel like it could have been so cool to just have your sims go on one little rotation round the picture opportunities that would have been beautiful for gameplay and storytelling but yeah the haunted house and love ride make more sense to me and also they do come up with pop-ups which was a nice touch and it will impact the relationship of whoever you go on it with and you can even get banned from the rides i didn't expect the sims team to include i'm pleasantly surprised by that little touch of detail that the sims team put in these do also come as items in by debug and i'm not sure if they're usable i will edit over this with a yes or no if they're usable outside of just being placed on this lot like if you if you put them down with the cheats on can you still ride them then it would be excellent if you could and then another new lot type that we have is the thrifting slash bubble tea shop and events happen here too as well which i didn't expect nice little touch and you can parade show off your outfits and i'll talk about thrifting a little bit later on because it's kind of tied to another element of gameplay and then we have the school the moment that we've all been waiting for i got so excited thinking about the school when i saw that it was a lot i was yeah it makes sense we can only have one school per game right makes sense so cool but it's so so cool that i can just place this school anywhere i can but i can choose my neighborhood for my high school no babe. <laughs> no this is where the plane lands in spain without the s they're locked to this one lot similar to how the von horn estate is locked to that one estate which didn't 
didn't bother me for that. The Von Horn estate kind of makes sense that it's going to be there in Windenburg. But this one, I just wish that we could put a high school anywhere. Because again, it's just leaving it in this this world. The world is great, don't get me wrong. But what if I want my high school to be in Willow Creek? One high school per save game. That makes sense to me. But having it locked to just this one lot, mm -mm, mm -mm. maybe it's because the auditorium's right next to it. Because the auditorium is actually a separate lot. The auditorium is used for graduation and prom. On the good side, though, you can customize both of these builds. So you could create a type in any style if you choose, and it doesn't have to be this American style. But you just can't do outside of this lot. <laughs> also, in bad news, the football pitch is not usable. The bleachers are not usable. There is a usable cheer mat on there, but how can I have a sim be cheer captain while my sim's on the bleachers? This is a crime to tailor, Your Honor. As much as having a active school and an auditorium is cool, like it is pretty cool. The actual campus just feels empty because you can't actually use most of it. And the lore of the town is pretty fun too. So there's a family with the principal and the daughters. The younger daughter is actually a fucking rebel and it's making the older daughter, it was more of a type A. Me, I'm a type A. I always thought it was type A, but bad boy got anxiety. The younger daughter is actually making the older daughter rebel. Fucking love that. And then we've got a whole ass exchange student. What a fucking cool touch. This to the Sims team. Girl, you have done it again. You have finally raised the bar. <laughs> but yeah, I will delve deeper in the lore and an actual entire history of, but she's cool. I enjoyed getting to know the Sims. for build by so obviously this entire thing features around high school yeah so a lot of the items that are included do give you the options to build a school and i'm sorry to my british folks but we do not get the dystopian 70s concrete block representation that are our schools the vibes are very roaring 20s which the cool i like the vibes don't get me wrong i like the items i like the vibes i like that there's desks with writing on them swatches are really nice too but it's just so different than what i'm used to is this what schools in america looks like like genuinely and we also have the new infamous sneak out window with the trellis. But for the fucking life of me, I could not figure out the point of getting Sims to sneak out. I couldn't get my Sims to sneak out. Like they just leave through the front door and I was never really in trouble for anything. So like, is it just for storytelling? I don't fucking know. Am I missing something? Is this the autism again, babe? Is this the autism? Maybe it would work better with parenthood, but honestly, I don't know. But for the team's actual bedrooms, I'm not going to lie, I'm in love with a lot of the objects. I did so much fun creating all of these different rooms with the different styles. Some of the objects did look like CC though, which is absolutely not a bad thing. And CC makers are fucking talented and I'm in awe of them. The stuff they create it blows my mind. So please don't take that as an insult. My point in mentioning that is... If you're going to buy this pack purely for decoration purposes and being able to customise your bedrooms and stuff like that, I'm more than sure you could probably just get this as CC for free. So sorry to my console players from the bottom of my heart. And there is also new gameplay objects as well. So we've got like the thrifting rack, the football, the cheerleader mat. I'll talk a bit more about these when it comes to gameplay though. The pack in itself revolves around your teenage years and obviously a huge part of that, not for me because I got kicked out, but yeah, it revolves around school. So get fucking ready, babe, because the bus is back. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's got no viewable windows again or driver though. Justice for the bus drivers, bring them back. You only have to do this on the first day, but you introduce yourself to the principal. Then once you do that, you never have to do it again, babe. Then you have some free time where you can just choose to do extra tasks or talk to friends or just mess about. Before it's time for your first lesson where you go into your own little cute classroom. One thing that I did really enjoy it but you actually gain skills from being in these lessons it's so very much needed and i'm really glad that they brought that into the game unfortunately though you can't interact with anyone during class not even yourself like you can't choose to engage in class or slack off in class and you have these options if you don't go to school because you can click work hard talk to friends also for bringing a notepad out for one literal second my sim just put it away she's like oh right we learning nah fuck that so the class is basically a watch and learn but you can't communicate with other students you can't rebel and then it's time for lunch and I, it brought me so much happiness to see that there was a calf i love a calf and then after lunch it is once again time for lessons in another classroom and then again same shit then home time unless you join an after school activity which takes place not at the school babe spain no s there's football cheerleading and programming that you can join but you don't really get to participate in these at the school shocked me that football field she's purely for a show on it's very much an inactive hobby all of them overlap with each other so you can't do more than one the american college system is literally shaking right now can you imagine telling them that you only have one extracurricular activity one thing that i was really excited about as well was having the typical good student versus bad student narrative this kind of went how we call lifestyle went i don't know if you saw my videos and trying to make basically smog city but the more i tried to be a good student the worst results i got 
And the more that I tried to be a bad student, the better results I got. My sim that literally didn't even try got a glowing report, but my sim that was putting her entire sim must eat and getting a good report was being threatened to be expelled. There's even weekly exams every Friday that your sim's got to study for. The good student, she studied literally every single day for this test. The bad student didn't study at all. The bad student passed with literal flying fucking colours and the good student missed her exam because she was being showered at over what? And eventually we'll be reminded about prom. That prom is coming up. I think that was takes place on a Saturday at 7pm but you can make a promposal and give someone the promposal or you can just leave it in the locker and ask them unfortunately everyone rejected me it's live <laughs> there's also a career day which i'm not gonna lie yes hens i expected a lot from this but the career day for me was just bad it takes place at the auditorium and all it is is people standing in work uniform you ask them about a career then you tell your teacher that you asked them about the career and then it ends. This one disappointed me most because I thought this is actually something that could be really useful to gameplay, but it just didn't deliver on any of it. Things that could have been massively built upon. Salary information. So if you're going up to a footballer, ask them salary information and then it'll give you a pop-up. Skills needed for that role. Skills needed for promotions. Career quiz. Could have been so cool. Or even an offer of a job after school. But instead it just felt lackluster. Like I was like, what is even the point of having this? I've just had to sit through two loading screens and my sim is not any better off for it. And then we get to prom and after the fiasco with my wedding stories i did not expect much from prom in fact like honestly i was a bit terrified because my wedding stories it did actually hurt me a little bit kill us <laughs> but you know when you've been playing this game from the year 2000 there's obviously not something right <laughs> i jest i jest i don't actually obviously there isn't something right lol um but i'm on tablets for that that's lie but yeah anyway i was genuinely worried how was in my asshole babe i actually had so much fun and i was really happy to say that because i was so fucking nervous about it i loved the sims 3 prom and she was purely inactive and this just kind of took the same kind of things as that and just made it better so i loved getting the picture notifications from prom from the sims 3 and this has a photo booth so you can go and take your own and you can eat food there drink punch you can even vote for royalty and be the royalty unfortunately i did not get voted nobody is shocked i genuinely really really fucking enjoyed prom and it was the part that i was most nervous about as well and prom also again once again takes place in the atrium until it doesn't bear because you might be invited to an after party afterwards which i was not expecting gg at the sims team i mean they are only teenagers but it's a nice touch i didn't expect it and then when you graduate you'll have a graduation ceremony which i just feel like life is a roller coaster you just gotta ride it because we went like straight far down from the career prom was amazing and then graduation day it's graduation day listen i wish i could give you a review for this but it just didn't come up for my sims i'm so sorry when i finished school it said you finished school graduation will happen in a couple of days keep an eye out on the calendar i played for a solid week i got no notification about graduation i checked the calendar like religiously so yeah i do kind of feel bad for the sims team on this one because i feel like i always encounter the glitches do you know what i mean uh, i wish i could tell you about the graduation ceremony but i was not invited there was no solo for me today So in relation to school as well, there are football events and cheer competitions. And the former, the former is basically shouting a ball about buying merch and posting in front of a poster, really trying to stay positive. And the latter is the same, but you can actually compete the routine and like a judge will be there and he'll vote. That was a kind of nice addition. These two take place on the football field again, but both kind of lackluster as well. The cheerleading one's much better than the football one. We don't even get a football goal post. I wanted them so badly to be good, but the, they unfortunately did fall short. They did. Teens are also actively going through puberty as well and this brings along crushes acne moodlets relating to that and i like how just straight to the point is like this uh moodlet that's just you are going through puberty offline as well outside of school there's also the social bunny which is basically a social media app and this is such a smart way to take such an iconic thing from previous games and modernize it to kind of fit with the technology of the sims 4 so your sims can post updates like just a status but they can also post about things that have happened they can send dms these are pre-selected messages though you can't type them and they'll do this autonomously too so i found my sim had sent some really mean text messages to a dad <laughs> it was me i was the sim initially when i first encountered this i thought this was going to be a way to integrate a memory system because like i said you can post about events that have happened but it kind of failed in that regard and your sims will sometimes post about things that never even happened as well you're a liar actress go the fuck out <laughs> however even though you might think it should be social bunny isn't combined with simstagram they exist as separate platforms which makes sense in real life but in the sims you have to grind 
followers for simstagram and grand followers for social bunny speaking of followers thrifting is also an activity that you can do this is really cool because you have to actually go to a thrift shop look through the racks and buy the clothes some days have special hot drops that are only available for so long and you also manage your own stock if you've used the shoes from one outfit that you're going to then sell on you can't use those shoes to make another outfit so you kind of have to navigate your own stock and this is where the depop collab comes in you can make these outfits and they'll go into your inventory and you can give them as a gift to people or you can sell them and this can actually be registered as your job a fashion influencer kind of thing there's different categories of clothing you can also make your own category clothing there's trends that happen trends that rise trends that fall and if you sell clothes and it's a trendy thing right now your outfit other sims around the town will try and copy that outfit which i was shocked to see fucking beautiful another thing that i didn't expect you kind of feel like this needs to be fine-tuned a bit i set an outfit as nine 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 and someone bought it I feel like instead of setting an actual simoleon, just a markup scheme like we have with other items. And the more outfits that you sell as well, the more followers that you'll get. And similar to that, you can also live stream, which is interesting. I wouldn't dare be me. It'd never catch me in content creation. I, I jest, obviously. Both this and thrifting is classed as a side hustle career. At first, I was blown away by streaming because it starts off pretty simple where you just stream one game and then as you level up and get promoted in your career, you can stream with friends. You get early access to games that you can stream. But honestly, you ended up getting really tiring really fast because none of the different things that you could unlock had any real difference in how many followers followers that you got your sims experience it was just the same thing with a different title i made my sim play for like a week straight and she got a thousand followers in real life that would be inconceivable like that is so great but in the sims one week babe she's got one fucking foot in the grave i like the fact that both of these are included in careers i think the depop one is much stronger than the streaming but for both of them there are only three stage careers from depop you can make a lot of money especially if you con the system but not so much from streaming having it only go to level three for streaming feels i don't know it feels quite weird because obviously this is a side hustle for teenagers and teenagers life but some teenagers make it fucking huge on streaming basically what i'm trying to say it felt shallow another thing about those careers is that to advance in them as well you kind of need the new entrepreneurial skill i mean it's okay i guess i don't really have any feelings towards it when you level up the entrepreneurial skill you can make a business plan and submit it for funding to engage in your side hustles that bit i like like i said for both of these careers as well you can gain followers but the followers that you gain from these aren't the same same followers that you have on social bunny all the same followers that you have on simstagram it's a new set of followers listen i'm all for devolution babe devolution for the north but i just think with this whole social media aspect in the sims 4 specifically i think it needs to be a bit more centralized you know what i mean i found it very overwhelming from here you might be thinking fucking hell jesse how far in this review am i now and you haven't even mentioned the teacher role talk about the teacher career and to that i say i'm so sorry baby girl i'm so 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 sorry there is no teacher role <laughs> i know it my final thoughts value for money five out of ten gameplay five out of ten create sim seven out of ten build by six out of ten the gameplay is so exceptional in some parts and i found that i really enjoyed it but a lot of it just falls flat i was kind of bored during the high school experience and not because i'm not open to the, the concept of actually attending high school just because it just didn't go deep enough a lot of themes just weren't explored and i found myself just wanting things to just go deeper that's not to say it's a bad pack like i really fucking enjoyed it at times didn't really deliver it's good don't get me wrong but it's good in terms of realm of magic is the best witches that we've had so far in my opinion but realm of magic has absolutely nothing on the sims 4 werewolves do you know what, what i'm trying to say like it's all right i think you'd enjoy it if you bought it but i think that you will definitely feel that bit of depth is missing and i found myself enjoying going thrift shopping so much more than the actual high school experience i think how inactive the world is around the actual high school really let it down as well and not being able to participate in class but yeah that is my review let me know what you think i love you all so so much and i will see you in the next one bye bitch